Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Unconventional Outdoorsman. Today we're going over best home defense rounds. Um, these are just a few of the examples, but before we get into today's video, please do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, but anyways, let's get into today's video. So I'm going to start off with some pistol ammo. Um, now this is, can work in handguns or if you have a pistol caliber carbine, something like the AR or pattern rifle. So first off, if you're going to have a pistol for home defense, you're probably going to need something like this. This is just a hollow point. This represents any pistol that can be used with a hollow point. This is a 45 auto right here. Nothing too special about it. Basically the reason hollow points are good for home defense, they don't have an, an, as much penetration power as say like an FMJ round like this. Um, they tend to stop, you know, mushroom out and, you know, take the threat down and not have the as much potential to go through a wall or hit somebody else or whatever. So, but for example, say you're in, you've got your own property, say you've got 80, 100 acres of land, you don't have to worry about neighbors. Having some good FMJ pistol ammo like this, this is always cheap stuff, this is some target ammo from our 45. Um, something like this would be a good choice too. And obviously, not just 45, 9 millimeter, 10 millimeter, uh, 380. Uh, 38 special anything you have like that would work perfect for them I'm gonna get into some shotguns personally. I use a shotgun for home defense I have a pump action 12 gauge that I carry um, number four buckshot in so I'll get into that real quick This is Royal Buck number four buckshot and the reason I like number four buckshot over like some basic um, slugs or uh, Double lot buckshot you get more pellets for it um, for each shell number four buckshot carries 21 pellets Per shell, so this is a two and three quarter inch 12 gauge shell, high brass. Um, the reason I like this, it doesn't have as much penetrating power as a FMJ round or a slug, so it has a more of a if I miss or whatever in the case of a home defense scenario, God forbid I ever ha would have to be in one. It's got a better p potential to stop. And um, basic stuff, this Royal Buck, it's very common. You can pick it up in most outdoor stores. Um, it's like five bucks for this thing. I've got quite a few of these. Um, in my safe, I keep these in my shotgun, uh, in the safe all the time. Uh, number four buckshot. That's probably my favorite buckshot for home defense. Double lot is good. There's nothing wrong with it. My dad used that for many years for home defense. Never had to use it, thank God. But number four buckshot, it is moving at roughly 1,345 feet per second. And yeah, 21 pellets per shell. So my shotgun, I carry five um, shells in it and I don't carry one in the chamber, I'll just rack it if I ever would have to use it, but that's 21 times five, so that's like 105 pellets if I had to use all of them on an intruder or multiple intruders. Now say you don't want uh, buckshot, say you something, want something that's more of like a single projectile, like a hollow point or an FMJ round like we've gone over. So, uh, some Winchester Defense, I just picked this up the other day, this is Winchester Defender, Stop the Threat, One Ounce Rifled Slug. This is kind of like a, a weird round because not only do, is it a one ounce slug, but it's got three double lot buckshot pellets in it. So I'll open it up and show it to you. I have not even tried these yet. I don't carry them in my shotgun, but I think I'm going to take them to the range and see how they pattern compared to the number four buckshot and see which one I should carry. If you guys think I should carry this for home defense, which is the slug with the three pellets of double lot buckshot, let me know. This is also a two and three quarter inches. It is moving quite a bit slower than the buckshot we looked at. The buckshot was moving at 1345 FPS. This one is 1150. So you do get a little bit slower, which I kind of like because it, it reduces the chance of over penetration going into another wall, hitting a family member or whatever. And then since I live in cr close proximity to my neighbors, that's very important to me to make sure I don't ha have any collateral damage. But these are pretty nice. Um, they are a little bit heavier than the buckshot, obviously, but nice black shells. Um, they're pretty cool. Um, I haven't tried these. I'm a big high brass guy. If it isn't high brass, I don't like to use it, even for skeet loads or whatever. So it's a cool little shotgun shell here. It's got Defender on the side of it here by Winchester. Now these are not obviously the highest quality shells. Now if you like slugs, there's nothing wrong with slugs. I would go out and carry some um, for home defense. Obviously when I used a shotgun to deer hunt, that's what I carried. I carried a uh, one-ounce slug in my 20 gauge when I used to hunt with a shotgun. So that is the Winchester Defender Elite, uh, one out slug and three double lot buck shot pellets. So that's pretty cool stuff. This is relatively cheap. You get 10 shells in this for 16 bucks. Now obviously this isn't the kind of stuff you take out to the range and skeet shoot with obviously. This is more of the stuff that'll stay in the safe for home defense in case you'd ever have to use it. Next we're going to get into rifle rounds. Now a lot of people are into the AR game. I don't personally own an AR. A lot of my friends and family members do so I carry a extra box of 5.56 in case I go shooting with them I can have ammo to use. This is some 
Frontier cartridges made in a USA, military grade, made with Hornady bullets. It's got 55 grain, it's 50 rounds. Now an AR, if you've got like your own land, like I said, or if you don't have to worry about over penetration, or if you've got neighbors in close proximity, something like this would be an exceptionally good choice. Good thing about an AR, you can carry like 30 of these little projectiles here in your rifle. Um, the standard capacity magazines, 5.56 to 22 caliber bullet. This is moving at butt naked speeds. Let's see what see if it tells me what speed it's going at. Uh, muzzle velocity, and this is probably out of like a 20 inch barrel, something you're probably not going to find too often. Most ARs are like a 16 or an 18 inch barrel. It's moving at 3,240 feet per second. So this, straight out of the muzzle, is moving faster than my 6.5 Creed more, um, most times, unless I get it like a 95 grainer. But it's pretty cool, very light ammo. I mean, I'm holding like eight of them here. It hardly feels like I'm carrying anything at all. Now, honestly, if I had an AR, I would probably use that for home defense. Um, if I had, you know, more land and, you know, didn't have to worry about over penetration. But any of these are a good option for home defense. So you guys let me know. Um, if you had to use one of these for to defend your home, defend your livelihood, your family, uh, the ones you love, your property, which one would it be? We've got the shotgun shells, the buckshot, and the slug and buckshot combo. We've got the pistol ammunition here. I'm a big hollow point guy for self-defense. Target ammo, just some cheap stuff, some FMJ, which wouldn't be too bad of a choice if you have got a lot of land or if you have to have a you know a farm, whatever, you're checking fences, having a pistol caliber carbine, carry some of this in there. Nice cheap ammo. You don't have to worry about price on that too much. It's like 20 bucks. Then you've got you know your AR ammo. Now, obviously, personally, if I had a farm, which I have hunting property down in southern Missouri, close to 100 acres of it, I've got 80 acres, um, a good rifle, like my 6.5, that way I can get some extra range or a nice AR. So that is today's video. If you guys um, liked it, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you beautiful people tomorrow.